Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the hard drive is missing after the Windows 11 update. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to uninstall recent Windows updates. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon, in here make sure to scroll down until you find the Windows update section on the left pane and select it, and then on the right side just select the update history section. In here just make sure to scroll way down until you find the uninstall updates category and simply click it. Now just select the latest problematic update for your Windows 11 and then click on the uninstall button. Afterwards just restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to use Device Manager. To do this right click the Windows button and select Device Manager from the list of options. In here you can do multiple things, just expand the disk drive section by double clicking it and then right click the problematic device and select the properties option. Now go to the driver tab and in here simply start by clicking on the update driver button. Now click on search automatically for drivers and wait until Windows will try to find the best possible drivers for your PC. You can also uninstall the device as a last resort. To do this just click on the uninstall device button and then confirm again by pressing on the uninstall button. Now you can restart your PC and you'll see that Windows will automatically reinstall the driver for your disk drive. In the same device manager window you can also change the power management settings, but this is for external drives. Firstly you have to click on the view tab and then select the show hidden devices and afterwards just scroll down until you find the universal serial bus controllers. Double click it to expand it. In here simply double click the USB root hub device and then select the power management tab. In here make sure to deselect the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and then click on OK to save the changes. Now you can check if the problem still persists. You can also run a quick SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here just type or copy paste the following command from the description below and then press enter after this command. Now just wait a bit because the scan can take some time and afterwards just restart your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.